Elect, I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be the mountain of the congregation. And we're going to start the study in Ezekiel chapter 31, um, starting with verse 1. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, uh, Eleven symbolizes disorder, chaos, judgment that comes after ten, representing law, responsibility, completeness of order. And the third angel sounded, and there fell as to descend a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked uh, shall be put out. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of that star is wormwood, meaning bitterness, uh, a calamity, which is an event causing great and often sudden disaster, uh, distress, destruction, uh, chaos. And this disaster, this sudden event, is um, the corona um, virus. Corona meaning crown. Um, third representant of the Holy Spirit. We are to unite as one with I am in marriage as in the first day. Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to his multitude. Whom art thou like in thy greatness? Pharaoh being the king over the perverse spirit of untruths, having them in bondage and slavery to their lies. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And to his multitude, um, this being the people's multitudes, nations, and tongues, the sand of the sea, not the stars, as in celestial. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven as the celestial realm, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Um, this being God's children. Um, there's the stars, and then there's the sand of the sea. Um, stars are of the celestial realm the sand of the sea is of the terrestrial i will sit also upon the mount of the congregations in the side of the north um, verse 3 behold the assyrian was a cedar in lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and of a high stature and his top was among the thick boughs um behold this syrian was um jonah uh, meaning dove, symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Um, holy, uh, God's children are to speak the words of I am, the light of the right of light of righteousness, was sent by God to be his mouthpiece to Nivea, which was the capital of Assyria. And hold your place. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree as an enact laws, um, that decree unrighteous decrees, unrighteous as in wicked, idle decrees, as in to pass legislations, and that write um, grievousness as in perverseness, which they have prescribed um, as to write. Um, President Biden is implementing a six-pronged Six as in the number of the beast, uh, the six-day man as in the weakness of man, uh, comprehensive national um, strategy that employs the same science-based approach that was used to sex successfully combat previous variants of COVID-19 earlier this year. This plan will ensure that we are using every available tool to combat COVID-19 and save even more lives in the months ahead. They are claiming to be our savior over Jesus Christ. By faith are you healed. His six-pronged strategy, as in the six-pointed star of Moloch, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star, as in the six-prong of your god Ramphan, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Uh, the first um, 
six-pronged is vaccinate the unvaccinated uh, this being the sting of the locust the point um, the vaccination is um, the servitude to the beast system uh, to further protect the vaccinated not protect all people but further protect the vaccinated uh, three keep the schools open safely and four increase testing and requiring of masking which is the molten god and five protect our protect our economic recovery uh, and six provide uh, care for those uh, with the COVID-19 uh, then verse 2 to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless to turn aside as to turn away the needy as in the weaker from judgment and to take away as to strip or rob the right from the poor of my people that widows may be for their prey as in booty and that they may rob as to plunder the fatherless um the fatherless um our forefathers is the prophets of old they be in the they do not listen to them they listen to man they be in the holy spirit resistors um when i am comes forth for the marriage uniting as one as in the first day when we were celestial uh, as the stars when we all sang together as the morning stars satan will come to resist this union as he did in genesis 6 and i'll read of that and it came to pass when men begin to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them this daughters being the spiritual side of man coming forth that the sons of god these being the angelic beings saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they choose they became one with them instead of um the reunion of um man with god i am and the lord said my spirit which is i am shall not always strive with man for he is also is flesh yet his days shall be 120 years he become the full flesh man instead of the spirit um and with i am 120 years means that a divinely appointed time of waiting god will save 12,000 from each tribe of israel the 144,000 these they are the robbers and the thieves um and what will you do in the day of visitation and the desolation which shall come from far to whom will you flee for help and where will you leave your glory when the four winds are released the holy spirit will be withdrawn it will only be in those that have taken of the marriage this will bring the spiritual realm the boundary will be open that boundary is our lord jesus christ he is the veil without me they shall bow down under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slain for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still his hand is stretched out if you turn to him O oh, Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. God is using them as a rod of correction. There were two rods that were thrown down before Pharaoh, but Moses' rod swallowed up their rod. I will send him against a hypocritical nation, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Hypocritical um as an um in, um nps as a as a not um respectful or, or reverent especially to god um they deny the power of him as their savior they say lord lord but deny the power um and elijah came unto all the people and said how long how y'all be between two opinions if the lord be god then follow him but if he be baal then follow him this being the two rods rods are for correction and also for uh, ruling power baal meaning to exercise dominion over to own control um lord over 
the sin of the um, Baal priests was not that they called upon some other deity, but rather their, their insistent howling of the word Lord without recognizing the power of Lord over man's power. Reverence him, reverence him as Lord, as our Savior. How about he meaneth not so, neither does his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he says, are not my princes altogether kings? Um, this is Satan talking. Is not um, Kalno, which was a place in the Assyrian Empire, meaning our uh, consummation. Um, consummation is the act of making a marriage complete by sexual intercourse, the point of which something is um, complete finalizing um, becoming one with Satan instead of I am uh, Carchemish is located on the banks of the upper Euphrates this was also an important city in the Assyrian Empire uh, lying on the trade riot routes this being where they merchandised souls uh, Hamath uh, meaning fortification to protect or surround located in Syria. They claim to protect us, but instead they imprison us. Arpad, uh, meaning exile or voyager, someone who travels on a long journey. Exile is someone who is barred from one's native country, typically for political or punitive reasons. We are to be um, in Judah, one in Christ, not one with Satan. For you, brethren, have become followers of the churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. Samaria is Watch Mountain. This is where the woman at the well was on watch. So Jesus took a long journey to meet her. If you call upon him, his hand will be stretched out still. It was, it was still the sixth hour, this being the sixth day man, when there is still time. At the seventh hour, the seventh dimension of time, is when the sixth day man will be finished and the seventh day man is to come forth. Satan is coming to resist that union. Six um, of his empires, Damascus being the, um, the wealthy capital of, of the city of Aram, one of the oldest cities in the world. Damascus meaning the beginning of salvation. Who will we choose as our savior? The scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Not until we not until we are to wait, not gather with Satan with his six pronged Saban system of Baal. As my hand has found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Jerusalem is where truth is to be found. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. And Samaria is where the woman was at the well on watch. If you call out to him, he will stretch out his hand uh, to, to save you. But you have to have the faith in him as your savior. Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Uh, idol as an image or representation of a god used as an object of worship. This image takes the place of the true power of God as our Savior, wearing of the mass, standing six feet apart as in the number of the beast, and taking of their vaccine. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord has performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. He has only five months. The first two and a half months is when he's behind the scenes. Um, and the last two and a half months is when he enters into the vessel he chooses to speak from. For he says, by the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and I have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. He says, by the strength of his hand. In verse 4, God says his hand is stretched out still. 
the bounds as in boundary, border. He has made it one worldism to the beast, Lucifer. He being the thief and the robber that steals the souls, claiming he will save them. Just trust in me. And my hand has found as a nest the riches of the people. And as one gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped gathered all the earth as in earthly those that, that are terrestrial he reached and reached in his hand into their nest and he stole their eggs out of their nest as he is taking their children forcing the mask on them which is poison to them breathing in their own carbon monoxide which is poison Shall the axe boast itself against him that hoeth therewith, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as it, as it were no wood? This axe will come upon them because they have listened to the false prophets, and they are not spiritually prepared, they are the fatherless, they did not listen to the true prophets. They listened to the false prophets, and they are not spiritually prepared for this battle. Uh, therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. This being those that have waxed fat off God's children, they will be burned by the flames of the Holy Spirit. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. This being the light of Israel, he will rule as God, not Baal, the holy one. There will be only one mouth, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. There shall be one Lord, and his name one. Um, this be in the day of the Lord. I am Yahweh. There will be one voice at that time. It will come through the two witnesses. This be in the vessel I am will choose to speak through. They will speak to the elect, and the elect will speak to the 144,000. And they and shall consume the glory of his forest and of his fruitful field, both, both soul and body. And they shall be as when a standard bearer feigneth. And the rest of the trees of his forest shall be a few that a child may write them. Uh, his world, one worldism will collapse. He will not have the power over the people when I am comes forth. Um, he will not be able to have super power, supernatural power over them. Um, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are as escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, in truth, they will know truth from the true Levitical priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. Uh, unto the mighty God, they will reverence his power over man. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. A remnant as in the stars heavenly, um, the sand of the sea are the people's multitudes, nations, and tongues. They will outnumber us. This will be his decree, his law, and commandments. Uh, consumption um, meaning uh, emaci uh, emaciation, as in um, the state of being um, abnormally thin or weak because of the lies that has been fed to them. For the Lord of hosts shall make a consumption, even determine in the midst of the land. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, O my people that dwelleth in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with a rod, and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt. Um, these that dwell in Zion, Zion being where we find truth, um, the laws and commandments of, of God, not man, the Lord of God of hosts, those that are of the spirit, as in the manner of Egypt, Egypt, Egypt being of the perverse spirit of lies, there are the two rods, um, the two um, ruling powers. Uh, as in verse 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. 
uh, 25, for yet for a little while in the indignation shall cease and my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up a scourge for uh, him according to the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb. And as his rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt. Scourge as a lash, a whip. And he made a scourge of small cords, and he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and, and poured out the ch um, changers' money and overthrew the tables. Slaughter of Midian. Israel had been uh, living prosperously for 40 years, um, becoming complacent, self-serving, 40 meaning probation. Uh, she made idols that she... Um, that uh, and she relied on her own knowledge and her strength and abilities in Judges chapter 6 um, God um, put Israel into the hands of the Midianites because she had forgotten him God uh, so loved Israel um, that his jealousy wanted her for himself for her for her praises to be about him he gave her the evil oppressors to show her the condition that her heart had taken on this was to get the focus of her attention back on him. The Midianites being the rod of correction that will force us to our knees and, and, and um, have us remember truth. Truth will set you free from the nasty oppressors. The rock of Oreb is where Gideon slew Oreb after the defeat of the Midianites, Oreb meaning raven, wolf. Uh, the blackbirds being symbolic of the locust army his rod upon the sea, this being the peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues that the beast rises out of, and Egypt being um, slavery, bondage to um, the lies. 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Um, because of the anointing, this being the, no the anointed one. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, as in Egypt. 28. He is up um, to Aya, um, Aya meaning a heap of ruins. This was in the tribe of Benjamin, east of Be um, Bethel. Uh, he is passed to Migron, um, Migron, Bit Gibeah, marked by the pomegranate tree, meaning fear, throat, uh, at Michmash, um, meaning um, laid up, concealed, uh, on the road to Jerusalem, Jerusalem representing truth. They are the Holy Spirit resistors that prevent those from entering Jerusalem uh, for truth. These are the thieves and the robbers. Uh, he has laid up his carriages. They are gone over the passage. They have taken up their lodging at Geba. Uh, Geba meaning the hill, the city of Benjamin, allotted to the priest, six miles from Jerusalem. Rama meaning height or high, five miles north of Jerusalem. This is where Rachel, uh, this is Rachel's burial site. A voice is heard in Ramah, mourning and great weeping, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. And um, Ramah is afraid, Gibeah, um, meaning hill of Benjamin uh, also, five miles from Jerusalem, same as Gibeah, six um, as of Saul is fled. There are six in number. Lift up thy voice, O daughter, of Galem, meaning heaps, um, calls it to be heard in Laish, meaning a lion, the tribe of Dan, the people of Laish were um, secure and thought they were in no, in no danger. They were unsuspecting and not um, waiting. Um, they are not watching um, for the thieves and the robbers um, they were secure they thought they were secure and Anathoth was the priest town uh, Mad uh, Mana, meaning the place of government from the word law place of government uh, is removed the inhabitants of Gibbon uh, meaning grasshoppers locusts uh, a small place north of Jerusalem where the people fled at the approach of the Assyrian uh, gathered themselves to uh, flee. 
as yet shall he remain at Nob that day. Um, he shall shake his hand against the mount of the daughter of Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. Uh, behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, shall lop the bow with terror, and the high ones of stature shall be honed down, and the haughty shall be humbled. You will be humbled. You will know the true God. Truth will prevail. And he shall cut down the thickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one, by a mighty one, this being the Lord of hosts. I am that I am, two witnesses. I am within the vessel. And then chapter 11. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. These are the spirits, the seventh part of the seven spirits of the of the spiritual complete man and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth this being I am and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like an ox, and the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockerous uh, den. One, two. That's seven. Um, that they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people, to it shall the Gentiles seek, and to his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the, the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. And with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over dry shod. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou was angry with me, thy anger is turned away, and thy comfort is me. Behold, God is my salvation. He is whom we will go to to be saved. Not their vaccine, not their mask, not standing six feet apart. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation. I can trust in him. I have faith in him. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation, this being the well. She was waiting at the well for him. And that in that day shall you say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. 
We will sing as we were the morning stars when we sang together. Cry out and shout, thy inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee, the Holy One. And we're going to go back um, to Ezekiel um, verse 4, 31 verse 4. The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with her rivers running round about his plants and sent out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field um waters being the people's multitudes nations and tongues uh, that the beast will rise out of his plants and the tree trees of the field people um must have oxygen and plants have carbon dioxide plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air which they need to live and they release oxygen into the air which we need to live for us to inhale this oxygen, we must first exhale carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is harmful to our own bodies, but it's exactly what the trees and plants need to be healthy. The oxygen uh, we breathe comes from the trees and plants, so we must not unnecessarily destroy this vital source. We are not to cover our mouths with masks because breathing in our own carbon dioxide um, is poison we are to exhale it and breathe in oxygen enriched air provided to us from plants and trees these are his plants and trees that instead they want to take the breath of our oxygen and have us breathe in our own carbon dioxide that will poison us five Therefore his height was exalted above all the trees of the field, and his boughs were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he shot forth. Because of the multitudes, peoples, nations, and tongues that serve him, all the fowls of heaven made their nest in his boughs, and under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, and under his shadow dwelt all great nations." Fowls of the heaven, symbolic of the locust army, this being the blackbirds. You'll see a few at first, but then they will take over the sky. Everywhere you look, you will see blackbirds. This will be your signal to know that the supernatural realm is here and the spiritual battle has begun. The beast of the field are the lowest of flesh, the swine. They are full flesh man without the spirit, uh, as in the sixth, um, uh, Genesis 6. Um, beastly. They will use them against us, and under his shadow um, dwelt all great nations. There are two shadows. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thy art with, with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, 8. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his boughs, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him uh, in his beauty. This being outward, we are not to look outward, but inward. We are to trust in, uh, in faith what we can't see, not what we can see, um, as in the mass, standing six feet apart the, and the vaccine. Uh, nine, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Fair as in bright, beautiful, physically captivating. Therefore, thus say the Lord God, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height, and hast shot up his top among the thick boughs, and his heart is lifted up in his height. Uh, through pride for thy has said in thy heart i will ascend into heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars of god this being the stars as in heavenly celestial those that shall possess the gate of his enemies i will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north uh, i have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen he shall surely deal with him i have driven him out from his wickedness and strangers the terrible of the nations have cut him off and have left him upon the mountains and all in the valleys his branches are fallen and his boughs are broken by all the rivers of the land and all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left him when the time appointed is is over the rod of correction for his people his power will be taken he will not have the supernatural power over the people anymore 
uh, to the end that n none of all God's children anymore, to the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the thick boughs, neither their trees stand up in their height, all that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death to the neither parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit, they that follow him, the sixth day man, all in all its weakness will be done, the glory of the Lord um, will not prevail the glory of the Lord will prevail the seventh day man um, spiritually uh, complete uh, um, man will come forth becoming one in marriage with I am um, thus say the Lord God in the day when he went down to the grave I caused a mourning I covered the deep for him and I restrained the floods thereof and the great waters were stayed and I caused Lebanon uh, to mourn for him and all the trees of the field fainted for him. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell with them that descend into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and the best of Lebanon, all that drank water shall be comforted in the neither parts of the earth. They also went down into the hell with him unto them that be slain with the sword. And they that were, were with his arm that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. To whom art thou thus like in glory and in greatness among the trees of Eden? Yet shall thy be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the neither parts of the earth. Thy shall lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh in all his multitude, uh, says the Lord. I'm going to read Revelation uh, 22, 12 through 17. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, not um, Satan's, but his, his decrees, um, that they may have right to the tree of life. There's two trees. Um, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We have that choice and may enter in through the gates into the city for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie as in the, the perverse spirit of Egypt. I, Jesus, have sent my angel, an angel is a messenger of the Spirit, to testify unto you these things in the churches, the stars. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. This is the star that comes in the morning, a spiritual messenger. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. He waits at the well. He will, if you come to him, his hand will be reached out still. And we will end this today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.